Sir Michael Gambon, whose amazing playing career spanned from Laurence Olivier's nascent National Theatre to cinematic appearances in The Singing Detective and the Harry Potter films, has passed away at the age of 82. Sir Michael Gambon's career began at Laurence Olivier's nascent National Theatre. Publicist Claire Dobbs released a statement on behalf of Sir Michael Gambon's wife, Lady Gambon, and son, Fergus, which read as follows. We are devastated to announce the loss of Sir Michael Gambon. Following a battle of pneumonia, Michael, a beloved husband and father, passed away in the hospital surrounded by his family. His wife Anne and son Fergus were by his bedside. The age of Michael was 82. During this difficult time, we ask that you respect our privacy, and we are grateful for the messages of support and love that you have sent our way. His performance in plays written by Pinter, Beckett, and Akebourne earned him praise from generations of his fellow performers and earned him the enduring nickname, The Great Gambon, from Ralph Richardson. Gambon's portrayal of the troubled Brooklyn docker Eddie Carbone earned him an Olivier Award for his performance in Arthur Miller's A View from the Bridge in 1987, which was directed by Akebourne. The prize was given to Gambon for his role in the play. Gambon also had a role in the ambitious trilogy, The Norman Conquests, that was written by Akeborn. Other significant parts he has played include the eponymous scientist in Brecht's The Life of Galileo, which was performed at the National Theatre in 1980, and the restaurateur who returns to visit a former lover in David Hare's Skylight, which garnered him a nomination for a Tony Award on Broadway in the mid 1990s. Both of these roles were for plays written by Hare. After achieving fame in the art house cinema community with Peter Greenaway's The Cook, The Thief, His Wife, and Her Lover, 1989, Gambon went on to play significant roles in mainstream motion pictures like Sleepy Hollow, The Insider, and Gosford Park. After that, he played Harry Potter's professor Albus Dumbledore in numerous blockbuster films, taking over the part from Richard Harris after he passed away in 2002. He sported a long flowing beard and a tassel cap for the role. He was the voice of Uncle Pastuzo in both of the Paddington films, and he was also the narrator in the film Hail, Caesar, which was directed by the Cohen brothers. Gambon referred to himself as a big, interesting old bugger and said that he appeared to be the manager of a department store. Akeborn, on the other hand, referred to him as a wonderful, limitless machine like a Lamborghini because of his imposing size and wry features. Gambon guarded his privacy and only unwillingly participated in interviews, despite the fact that audiences adored him and that his imposing presence could lend gravitas to even the most inconsequential material. During an interview in 2004, he gave the observer the following quote, I just plod on and try my best to keep my mouth shut. Gambon dropped out of school at the age of 15 and, in contrast to many of his peers, did not obtain any official training at a theater school. Instead, he gained experience through participating in amateur productions. 1940 was the year he was born in Dublin, but his father had already migrated to London by then, where he served as a reserve policeman during the Second World War. After the war was finished, Gambon's mother brought him with her to England so that he could be with him there. After some time, they moved to Kent, which is where he started his apprenticeship in engineering at the Vickers Armstrong firm when he was 16 years old. After beginning his career in the theater industry as a set builder for an amateur production, he eventually found himself performing in supporting roles at London's Unity and Tower Theatres. He lied about his previous expertise in order to get his first professional roles, and he made his debut in Dublin in a minor role in Othello. He bluffed his way into the roles. At the age of 22, he made his debut on the West End as an understudy in the production of The Bed-Sitting Room. In addition to that, he attended an acting class at the Royal Court that was directed by George Devine and taught by William Gaskill.